Your fucking demo, you piece of shit. Hey, good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. You have the Rhino, you have Guy from Beer and Gear Reviews, you have Stella from White's Tavern. You want to really get her going? It's right down there, and she starts throwing her tongue out. Oh, she's she's oh, oh, she's thinking about it. Thinking about it. Oh, she's not gonna do it. Oh, gee, I love you. Oh, gee. Anyway, this is a beer that was brought, well, sent here before he came. This is the beer from Nick at Maxwell Stars Beer Reviews. This is from the Prince Edward Island Brewing Company. This is a 6.2% alcohol Black Banks Cascadian Dark Ale. Ooh. I usually like black IPAs. It's more like a bullet Cascadian like Netherworld. Do you like some of this, Nicholas? Uh, I'll just leave a little bit in a can. I've had it before, so... No, you go good, sir. Ooh, nice mahogany brown. Oh, that's nice. Nice as that. Yeah, nice, nice head, off-white kind of eggshell. A little snap, crack, a pop. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you get that, like, that lemon and grapefruit scent off of it. Citrus hops. Citra. Citra hops? No, uh, I would uh, assume there's going to be a bunch of Cascadian in here. Cascade and Citra? Cascade. Mm -hmm. Because it does smell like that, too. I mean, you get that, like, grapefruit piff smell. But, I mean, that could be Citra. Any citrus hop can give that smell off. And that's really all I'm getting. I don't know about you, but I'm just kind of getting that, like, lemon and grapefruit scent. Just a hint. Tiny hint of chocolate is there. It's, mm. you guys. Let's try it. Cheers. Shop that vac. This knows hard. Knows. That's light. Very light. Bitterness is there. Six point two percent alcohol. Very light body. Very. I wouldn't say all that complex. Not uh, roasty. Yeah. Very roasty. Roasty all the way to the back of the palate. Yeah, roasty right to the back. Like just all the way through your mouth. Um, the bitterness just overwhelms the, the tongue front to back. Yeah, I am. Um, <clears throat> uh, Lots of piff, like lots of uh, skin piff. Mm -hmm. Oily too, like uh, almost resinous because it does, it's oily, it takes over your palate. Almost like tree sap ish. Yeah. Yeah. It's not bad, but I mean, I think I like this more than, say, Flying Monkeys Netherworld, but I think that's about where I'd end with it. Wow. I love Netherworld just because it's yeah. so intense, but. See, I. Yeah. Netherworld's been one of those beers where I've had it like nine different times and it's tasted slightly different all nine times. So I just stopped caring and stopped buying it. I'm like, whatever, I'll it's get It's way else. lighter than it used to be. Yeah, that is true too. He's changed the recipe, even though he says he hasn't. Yeah. <laughs> Not changed the recipe, I just added more water. I remember the time I had... Flying Monkeys Cascadian Dark Ale, and I think I really liked it. But this one here just seems underwhelming. I remember Flying Monkeys being better. But of course, I haven't had Flying Monkeys since like 2012, so. It's an underwhelming black ale, but at the uh, black IPA, but at the same time, it's a black IPA. I mean, it has all the stylistic marks it should have. It's just underwhelming, but at the same time, well, underwhelming actually, in a good way to me because I mean it's not overpowering the palate like some really of them do. Black IPA so much as this black pale ale. It does what it's supposed to do. It's okay. light. It's light. It's bitter. It's drinkable. It's enjoyable. I'm gonna give it a seven. Seven's a good number. Seven point five for me. Okay, 7.5, oh, 7. Cool. Thank you very much, Nicholas. Thank you very much to you guys. Bye-bye. Cheers. Man. Cheers.
your buttons. 